So we're going to do some things with this network here. You can see it's a connected graph. The first thing we're going to have a look at is what a path is. Now it's exactly what you'd expect if I just asked you to think what do you think a path might be? It would be a route through some nodes. So for example that one there is the path A, B, C, E, D because you visit the nodes in that order. So you write down your path in terms of the nodes in the order that they get visited in. We could also have a circuit which is a path that is closed. It makes a loop. So for example here, this one here is a circuit D, B, C, E and actually I'll just update that for a little bit here because I missed off that D at the end because it goes back to the D we need to include that at the end to show that it's a circuit it goes from D to B to C to E and back to D okay so next we will have a look at what a tree is a tree has no circuits on it it will then have one region because it's got no circuits to close off any other regions but it's still connected. All the nodes need to be connected um, to the tree. So this one here we can see is not a tree so we need to remove some edges to make it into a tree. So I'm going to start off by removing this one. Okay we still don't have a tree because we've still got circuits in there so I'm going to pick another one to remove. We've still got a circuit there, you can see all around the outside, so we need to remove another edge. I'm going to go with this one. Now we're at the point where we have a tree, we've got no circuits, and we also can't remove any more edges because if we do them it won't remain connected. So that's as far as we need to go, we now have a tree. Okay, next is thinking about weighted edges. So most often we're using networks to solve some kind of problem where we have each of our edges has a weight assigned to them and that weight represents something. So for example, one of your edges, this could have a 10 next to it. Um, let's imagine it's something like walking routes through a park and these routes are mapped out and they tell you how long it would take at an average walking pace. So this path would take 10 minutes to walk. And maybe the other route between A and E takes 12 minutes. Maybe it goes over a hill or slightly longer or something. And then all the others would be filled in with their numbers to tell you how long they take. And that's pretty useful when you come to doing the next set of things that we're going to work through on the next videos. Things like finding the shortest route between places, um, the shortest path, the shortest circuit, uh, the smallest tree we could make in terms of weight um, so that everything's connected in the least possible way, those types of things. That's what we're going to move on and look at next.